so you have given your character the best groom you can. And now you just want an awesome render. But your hair looks something like this? Let's create an awesome realistic hair shader inside Blender. But first, let's do some settings in our particle system. If you see these heavy fat hair in your render, you have to make them thin first. Go to your particle tab, and, under it, go to hair shape. Decrease this diameter value to something more appropriate. And for extra realism, add some value for the tip as well. When you lower the thickness of the hair, now it's time to increase the hair count under children. Please do not give too many particles, because otherwise you will smell something burning inside your computer. When you are satisfied with the thickness and hair count, copy the settings in other hair particle system as well. Keep this in mind if you make the thickness very low and increase the hair count very high, it will starting to look like cotton or very soft hair. Now the settings out of the way, let's begin with the good stuff, the hair shader. In my case, I have a separate mesh for his hair. So I select the mesh, and add a material, name it hair. Let's give a dark color for the viewport display color, for better visual representation. Now I am splitting my view for the material editor. On the first view I have the render preview on, and other side it's material editor. Let's delete this basic principal shader and add a principal hair shader. Leave the main roughness to 0.3, and change the radial roughness to high, something like 0.5. You can also change this coat value, it determines how much shine you want on your hair. I am leaving it at 0. Before doing anything, let me share you that hair is not uniformly color all over, it has some color variations. And some few hairs are white too. In order to achieve that, we will use Noise Texture node. Plug its factor value to the color socket of our principal hair shader. And add a color ramp node in between it. Let me preview the node itself. You can do it by hitting, Ctrl Shift plus left click. This option is available, when you enable the node Rangrel add-on. Now you can crunch the sliders to contrast the color. You can also change the colors as well. Like here, I am giving it a dark brown shade. Increase the noise scale. Now it's working much better. Adjust the slider according to your needs. Now I am adding another slider to add some few light color hairs. Giving a good light color. Adjust the slider to make it visible. We want only few hair in light color. Now plug the principal hair back to the material output you can see slight color variation starting to appear in the hair. If you want more you can adjust the slider further. Now the most common problem in blender hair is, roots are not looking good. In the real hair, you can notice that, there is a slight fade in the skin to hair. You can see more references. To achieve this in blender, I will use curve info node, but let me first show you what we will be doing. I added a mix node, and plugging it in two emission shaders, one in black and other in white. Now take the intercept input, and plug that in the factor value of the mix shader. Here, you can see the hair roots are getting a black color. So if we put a transparent shader instead of this black emission, and add our principal hair shader instead of the white emission shader, we will get the fading effect. We can later tweak the colors with color amp node, Now I am plugging the transparent shader in the top slot, and our hair shader in the bottom. Here, you can see the fading effect is working, but it's too much, I will adjust it with the color amp node. So the basic hair shader is done. Now I will move to this type of color variation, where the hair which are close to the head having a lighter color, and as it goes to the tip it gets darker. To do it, I am adding a mix node, and set it to color. Plug it between color amp and hair shader. Now again take the intercept input from the curve info node, and plug it to the factor of the mix node. Plug the color input to B, instead of A, and change the color of A, to lighter shade of brown. We cannot able to see the affect, 
So add a color amp node here, to crunch the contrast. I am changing the curve type to B-spline for the smooth flow. This effect will be very subtle. Now there is a slight light color on the roots of the hair. Now our realistic hair shader is done. I am adding the same technique for the beard shader. The beard is groomed on the head mesh itself. So select the head mesh and add a material. Name it Beard, and change the viewport color. Let's preview the shader. Quickly adding a principal hair shader. Then a noise shader with 800 scale. Plug factor to color input. Add color amp node here. Now same, crunch the contrast, change the colors, add a new slider for some few white hair. This time we don't need the fading effect. But I need this type of color variation. So add the curve info node. Add color amp and plug that in the intercept value. Adjust the sliders according to the look. Now we have these two colors, I am joining these two, with color mix node. Set it to screen and add both color values. Now you can see we have all the color information. Now just add the color information to the principal hair shader. And shader to material output node. Change the roughness values as we did previously. And you good to go. So this is our shader of beard hair. If you created a material, and just wanted to assign to the specific hair particle system. Just select the mesh, on which you had generated the hair particles. Now add material slot, and select the correct material. Then simply go to the particle setting tab, select the correct particle system, in my case the beard, and under render, select the appropriate material. And you have the material. I hope you like this tutorial and learned something from this, for more of these blender related videos, hit a like and subscribe my channel. If you want to learn how I create hair or beard for my characters, please watch these videos.